Hello and welcome. Today we're taking a look at Lovecraft's Untold Stories. This is a, uh, a roguelite action RPG game that came out just a couple days ago on Steam, developed by LLC Blinny Games. It's in early access at the moment. Uh, yeah, so we're going to basically love Lovecraft style. We, we, we got a gun. We're going to go walking into this uh, freaky mansion filled with freaky things, and we're going to shoot them. Lovecraft style. So let's jump into this and see how uh, how it plays out. So we've got a few folks that we can choose from. We have Detective John Murphy is our uh, starting character. So I guess there's a few more we can unlock along the way. But we're going to be old uh, John Murphy here, who is a celebra... Uh, we're just a, a private eye that we served under Inspector Legrasse. That's our story right now. Legrasse has retired, but we just got a telegram in the mail. In the mail. Telegram by Legrasse saying, Murphy, Chateau Hill, Massachusetts, bring gun... Urgent help needed, Bayou Colt. So what do we do? We grab our gun, and we get ready to murder. So we can do a controller, or we can do keyboard and uh, no mouse, just keyboard, which we are doing here. And basically, it's all about walking around, shooting things, and breaking things. That's the game. So let's go and shoot and break some things. So here I am. I'm the guy with the um, the, the scarf, or I guess it's more of like a neckerchief thing. And we're going to walk through this uh, little tutorial thing that we have right here. To uh, make sure we know what we're doing. So we can jump around. Uh, if I can jump right, we can jump around over logs and things. Uh, we have a chest over here that we can open up. Um, if we have a special key, we can open up the uh, the chest. We have an iron key that will open up that lock. Uh, we can walk over this way and um, see what all we can find here, I suppose. We jump over some logs. We can make our way here into the mansion. This is sort of the tutorial -y, you know, uh, prologue, I suppose. Pile of cigarette filters here. LaGrasse's brand. All right. And that gives us info. Info is one of the currencies in the game. This is my inventory screen. Uh, you can see in the bottom there, we've got cash, and we have um, info, which which I, I'm not sure where we spend that, but uh, I guess we'll find it here eventually. But let's go uh, walk through the uh, the maze here. I guess this is to teach us how to use the arrow keys to walk. Um, and we can go smash things like that. We can also shoot things like that. Well, okay. Like that. <laughs> Come on, shoot the boxes. Ooh, there's TNT in that box. I'll take that. Okay, there we go. We're just going to go around it. You know what? Just walk around it. Come on, shotgun. There we go. All right, we got Torn Investigator Notebook. This is Lagrasse's old detective notepad. He must have kept it when he retired. The pages have, uh, pages have been torn out. All right, more info. We got some boxes here we can open up. And, uh, you know, Molotovs, TNT, the kind of stuff you leave outside your house. What else is in here? More? Hmm, alright. Alright, we got some bloody footprints here. Several sets of footprints. I'm sure there was a struggle here. This doesn't look good. More info. Okay. Alright, let's go uh, walking over this way. And see this guy over here. The corpse of one of a member of the... Of one of the secret societies or cults I've been encountering. Let's search him. This gives you a better chance to examine the tattoos and ritual scars I've only glimpsed before. These people appear to mortify their flesh extensively, probably to test, as tests of faith or acts of devotion. Hmm. There are signs of body modification, too. Um, I don't know what that means. Blast it, but whatever. The tongue has been split down the middle. Several teeth have been filed. The finger and toenails have been removed and cauterized. There's been a crudely performed partial castration. The navel has been sewn shut. The nipples have been removed. I mean, phew. At least knowing this will make them easier to spot in the future. Okay. Okay. And he dropped some cash. And a key. Apparently he was keeping that in his belly button. Alright, so now we have the key. We can go open that chest. Um, I've done this before. And as far as I know, all that's in that chest is a lot of healing potion. I don't want to walk all the way back there. So let's just go. We'll find plenty of healing potions along the way. Come on, blow up. There we go. Alright. Let's go into the real game here. Old Mansion. You are he uh, uh, And here you are, inside. You are enveloped by the twilight and the smell of old furniture. The walls of this old mansion are thick enough and impenetrable for extraneous sounds. They reliably keep their secrets, and only distant rustles and your heartbeat, heartbeat are audible. So welcome to the game. So here we are. This is, uh, like I mentioned, Roguelite. The, uh, every time you play this game, every time you die, you start back over again. And the uh, levels are all randomized and all that. I think this room is pretty much the same every time around. Uh, pretty close. Not exactly, I guess. Um, but, uh, let's, let's run around here. You got several doors. You can see my mini-map up there on the top. So let's go walking around here and find some freaky things to shoot. Look, there's one right there. Uh, woo, we got me. 
But we got him. Take that, buddy. Okay, take some cash, take some info, and let's uh, explore this whole place here. So we're looking for, I guess, looking for the grass is the idea here. Let's go down this way. Oh, that's the way we came in. We're not going that way. And over this way. Okay. And some uh, medical supplies. We got a medical kit, a book with pictures, Atlas of the Ancient World. A, a lot of strange pictures with signs and symbols and description of an unknown language. And it can be useful to a time traveler. All the maps in the book are very outdated. All right, we'll drop that one. I don't know if the other one's important either, but we're going to grab it. Uh, more info, more cash. Okay, okay. And um, a chair that's seen better days. Let's go this way. Anybody? I, about, I almost shot you. Almost shot you. Statue. This is a very quiet room. What's going on over here? Let's go. Uh, let's go this way. Anybody here? It's very quiet. Very quiet. Where's all the freaky things at? No, oh, this is back in this room where we uh, we we came from originally. All right, back up here then. Uh, Almanac of Occultism. Annual collection of articles and texts of occultism of yellow newspapers and journals. All right, uh, I don't think I need that. Keep the bag clean. Let me be lugging around books here. Uh, let's go down, and we've been that way. Let's. Where am I gonna go? I guess we'll go back to this. Oh, wait, wait, we can go left in this room. Let's go over here. So yeah, this map is randomized every time we come in here. So let's go over here, and we'll go this way. Anybody here? Oh, Atlas of the Ancient World. Okay. Ooh. A roaring fire. Usually I find these comforting, but there's something hungry about this blaze. We can look into the flames. We can search the ashes or ignore it. Let's search the ashes. I guess this is because I'm the detective. I can do that ability. This fireplace appears to have been used to burn documents. I can't make out make much out of the fragments of paper, but there are a few names and locations which might help in my investigation. I'll make a note of. Ooh, a thousand info. Can I? Um. Oh, I can't. I can't take my. I can't stare at the flames, which would have been a bad idea, anyways. I'm not picking that book up because we books are useless. I think. Ooh, but the medical supplies I'll take. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna use one of those. Here we go. Top myself off. All right, down we go. It's been incredibly quiet so far. There's a block of stone and carved to look just like an open book. There are even letters engraved on the open pages. I should try to. Write. <laughs> so I did a D and D campaign a long time ago. Where I did this exact same thing. There was a, it was like a sarcophagus, and the party read this thing aloud, and it released the terrible thing inside. <laughs> sure, what's the worst that'll happen? It in describes someone leaning over a stone book, reading it, looking for answers to an insurmountable question in an indifferent universe. The description of the reader matches me perfectly. How is that even possible? Lost part of your sanity. Oh yeah, welcome to uh, Lovecraft. Okay, okay, it could have gone worse. So let's go back out this way, and I guess we're going to head up here. Up this way, and then we'll go left here. Uh, hello, friend. Whoa! I need a bigger gun. This gun's cooler than mine. I'm bleeding. Almanac of Occultism. First aid kit. Excellent. And another Almanac of the Ancient World, which I don't think there's any reason to have these books. They just take up inventory space. Book with pictures. We got a uh, ancient world, ancient world, cultism, ancient world, ancient cults. Yeah, we don't care about cults. We're just here to kill. Let's go. Uh, let's go down. Hello. Yes. The incongruous statue of a kneeling woman. As if she was protecting herself from her attackers. I should take a closer look. She looks ter terrified. It's unnervingly realistic, like a tiny three-dimensional photograph. The proportions are perfect. When I get very close, I can swear I can feel her swallow shallow breath on my skin. Oh, sorry there, a chair. Uh, those look like they blow up. A decrepit-looking boiler. Doesn't seem very safe. Well, let's just open it and check inside, shall we? When I opened it for a split second, I heard what I thought was a scream. But maybe it was just a hiss of steam? 
Oh no. There are the charred remains of human bones, hand bones, still clasped together as if in prayer. What happened here? Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Let's go, uh, back this way, I suppose. Back up this way. Wah! Look at them all! <laughs> There's so many of them! Oh my! Oh, I... oh. Why is a lot of them? How did I... Oh, man! <laughs> Let's try that again! <laughs> okay, it's okay. We're gonna... Man, that was a lot. It's okay, we can do this. So we start over from the beginning, but again, it's all randomized, so everything should be, uh, well, well, randomized. So let's <laughs> run through and see what we can find this time. Man. Hello. Take that, buddy. I'm ready for you now. Well, I'm ready for you one at a time. I can't handle, like, 15 of you. One's fine. Anything else? Huh? Huh? Nothing? Yeah. This is a big empty room. Okay, okay. We didn't want to go that way anyway. Ooh. Excellent, excellent. I'll need some more medical supplies because I got zero now. Uh, let's go over here. See what's in here. I should I should learn to smash my my one button while I'm attacking things. Anybody here? Can I so I can, I can just like break these things? Break the bed? Oh, I can. I really gotta find a better gun. This gun is terrible. Now I hit him. There we go. I got no healing kits. Maybe there's one in here. Ooh, there's a bunch of them. Okay, terrible ones, but... No, we don't know! There you go, got him. Got him. Okay, okay. Use a healing kit. All better. Let's go. I thought I was done with the... No, we got him. Thought I was I thought I was done with the bleeding when I walked in there. Apparently not. Anything here? What's that do? I'm not gonna shoot it. What else is around here? Uh, this way. We need a, we definitely need a healing kit. Oh, I don't want the dang book, but I do want a medical kit and a golden key, bronze key. Uh, sure, I'll take some medicine. Ooh, all kinds of good stuff. Okay, okay. Excellent. Uh, I probably should switch out, actually. Let me put in the grenades instead of the first, the um, TNT. Grenades blow up faster. Oh, yes. Stone sculpture or altar. So I can closely inspect it, place my hand on it, make an offering or leave it. Um, let's, just, let's just inspect it. Chiseled into the base. Um, Cthulhu. Yeah. Oh, now it's glowing. <laughs> Let's go run up here real quick, and then we'll come back down. Ooh. Oh, what are you? Iron lock. Do I have an iron key? I do. Ooh, that's a lot of cash. That's 500 bucks. And a doctor bag. Okay, okay. Um, excellent. We've been over to the left. We haven't been up here yet, so let's go see what's up here. Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh my, I just blew myself up! <laughs> uh, Alright, I think that's probably about enough of that. I can't handle any more of it. Lovecraft's Untold Stories. Available on Steam. And, uh, yeah, there's the game. So, uh, thanks for watching. And, I guess I'll see you next time.